This morning, I'm going to do a deep dive into the all-new Kitboy AI software from Analog Legends. We're going to go over all of the great features that make this product a must-have in anyone's production arsenal. We are going really in-depth here, so grab a drink, relax, and let's get started. Now, obviously, you have to install it, but no need to go over that really. As you can see first launch, you have the option to run the program in demo mode or enter your license key. If you have purchased it, paste it here and register. If you haven't yet, you can demo the product and the audio cuts off after a moderate amount of time. You cannot save kits or recall when opening projects in demo mode so surely you'll be wanting to upgrade to the full version. You can do so directly in that dialogue or on the Analog Legends website. After that, there is a little news pop-up showing offers and new products to keep you in the loop about Kitboy. Pretty simple stuff. Now let's move on to the actual interface and features that make Kitboy so great. As you can see, the Kitboy interface is pretty self-explanatory. You have your pads down here and your most common adjustments right here in the main page. You can drag and drop WAV, MP3 and FLAC files directly onto any pad or right-click a pad to add your own samples with ease. You will also notice the infinity symbol throughout. Each infinity symbol is an AI generation point. The large one directly below the preset name is full AI kit generation. Each click will generate a completely new kit from the massive factory library. And each expansion you add to Kitboy adds more audio data to the pool to generate the kits from. Also, you may notice the little HH and TR switch at the bottom of the interface screen. Switching this changes from hip hop to trap kit generation with completely different sounds and kits. At the top left of the screen, you will see the quick save option, which saves the current kit in its current state. While clicking the plus icon prompts, creation of a completely new kit based on the current. Clicking the preset name brings up the preset browser page, as well as clicking the folder icon. To the right, you will see the cart icon which takes you directly to the expansion store for Kitboy to quickly add even more great kits and sounds to Kitboy. At the top right above the main large waveform with the choke button, you can add this pad to the choke group, meaning any sound will cut each other off. A popular Akai MPC feature and essential to hip hop. Each pad has this option and you can choke what you desire. To the right of that are the equalizer and effects, where you can edit the equalizer and effects for each pad. The equalizer is pretty standard. You have to click the dot to enable it. And by right clicking, you can add a band and adjust as you please. It is unlimited bands really, with all the standard equalizer band types. In the effects section, you can adjust the tonality of the sampler engine for each pad as well as dial in some harmonics and saturation per pad. Click the effects or EQ text to close these and return to the main edit page. Now on the main waveform, you are able to adjust the start point of the sample by dragging the white line to the left. Below that, you can toggle forward or reverse playback with the double arrows and next to that select one shot or looped playback. To the right of that, you select the output to send each pad to. You must have multiple outs enabled from the plugin within your door. There are eight stereo outputs in total. Rerouting the pad output from the main stereo out will be dry and not include the processing going on in the master bus output of Kitboy. Below that, you will see your attack decay, sustain and release controls in addition to volume, pitch, and your reverb send level. 
Below on the pads themselves, there are also quick adjustments. You may recognize the small infinity icon on each pad. By clicking this, it will randomize the individual sound. So for instance, you love the kit, but the closed hat doesn't sit well. You can simply click the infinity button until you find the perfect sound. Also very important is the E icon on each pad. Clicking this edit button brings up the edit area for that particular pad in the main edit screen, which you are familiar with. At the bottom right of each pad, you can select individual sounds directly from the library or go through them with the left and right arrows. At the top right, you can quickly adjust the volume of each pad. The top left, you will see a magnifying glass icon. You can adjust the scale of the interface with this. There is a master volume output knob under the right meter. At the bottom, far left and far right of the interface, you will see the four gray section buttons. The channel mixer, the output bus channel edit, the plug-in settings page, and the FX edit page. The channel mixer brings up a traditional mixer for the whole kit with delay send, reverb send, pan, volume, and solo and mute for each channel. Pretty self-explanatory, but great for really dialing things in and also for quickly soloing a pad during track out export. By clicking the bottom left output bus channel edit button, you can adjust the effects processing going on within Kitboy, giving it that wonderful sound. You will immediately recognize another appearance of the infinity button. You can indeed generate random tonalities for the kit as a whole by clicking this. It is extremely crazy, so be sure to save your kit and project before doing so as you will lose your tonality as is. Below that, you have a variable, simultaneous low and high pass filter, a harmonics module next to that mix for the harmonics, a saturation module with mix for that as well. To the right are the main pitch and volume knobs for the whole kit, pitch being the inside knob volume on the outside. By clicking the effects button on the bottom right, will take you to the effects edit section. Here, you can adjust the reverb sound and delay settings. You can also apply and adjust a master compressor over the whole kit and an equalizer to change the sound of the whole kit as well. Clicking any pad edit page button on any page will restore you to that main edit section. Well, as you can see, the Kitboy AI software is very comprehensive and flexible in addition to its massive 750 kit factory library. I hope I have explained it well, and if you haven't already head over to analoglegends.com and grab a copy of Kitboy AI today.